Hey guys, it's Rich Bits here. It is such a nice day out. It's 70 degrees. I just love warm weather, so I'm very happy how warm it is out. Right now we're gonna go get some coffee from my favorite coffee shop. Then we're gonna come back here and play some guitar, as we always do. And then we're gonna do a Q&A. You guys send in your questions for the Q&A and I'm gonna answer them. So hopefully you guys will get to know me a little bit better. So let's head out and get some coffee, woo! In the car. About to go get coffee. It is so warm out and I'm so freaking happy. When there's warm weather, it just like brightens your mood up so much. And I'm so happy, but I'm also dead inside because I need coffee. I got my latte. I got the, what they call the U2 latte. I think it has Irish cream in it, which is fitting because it is now March um, and I'm very Irish. So these are also my sunglasses from uh, the dollar store. Got them for a dollar. So I'm gonna head back, play some guitar, and start our Q&A. So let's go. We are back and we got the cafe. I got a large this time because because why not? I'm actually going to try to play some classical guitar. We'll see how it goes. I haven't really played since I graduated college, which has been over a year at this point. But we're gonna try it again because why not? Also, I have my Casey Musgrave shirt on. I just got this. I got it at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville, and I got a matching one with my sister. So I'm very happy. It's the first time I've worn it. Don't make fun of me. Footstool action, as classical guitar players use footstool to play. It's making me nervous. I haven't done this in a while. I was actually like kind of peaceful. I have to admit, I was playing that little lullaby and I could hear the birds chirping outside and it just, it was really peaceful. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing some more classical guitar just, just for myself. As some of you may know, I actually have a classical guitar album. It's on my YouTube. It was actually for my senior project. If you want to check that out, you can. Just look for the blue butterfly. That was my album cover. Now let's move on to the Q&A section now. All right, so first question we have, other than music, do you have hot hobbies that you enjoy on a regular basis. Hmm. I do enjoy reading. I wish I had more time to read, but I do enjoy it a lot. If it's nice out, I like to go on walks. Usually my life is, you know, pretty busy. It can be pretty stressful sometimes. So I like to do things that are relaxing. You no know, reading, um, going on walks. I like playing basketball. I also really like playing tennis. That's something I recently got into was, was tennis. That's really fun, I really enjoy that. I've gotten recently into cooking and it's been very like therapeutic. I used to never cook, but now that I live kind of on my own, I've been cooking a lot more. So I'll pop on just like a Spotify playlist in my living room and then like cook a casserole or something. So that's been fun. Those seem kind of boring, I feel like, but most of my like hobbies now are just like me relaxing, I feel like. Do you figure songs out by ear or use tabs? And if you use 
tabs is there any way i can get them so a lot of times i'll figure it out by ear i used to use tabs a lot and i still do as like a reference but i actually find that the tabs online are usually wrong so like they're like semi right but there's always something like kind of wrong in there it's like actually very rare that i'll find a tab that's like exactly right Usually because of that, I notice that the tab isn't right. I'll have to figure it out by ear. But what I do to like kind of help with that is I'll actually look up a video of the artist playing the song so I can see where their guitar player is moving their hands to kind of give me a reference what they do and do not play from the song. So I kind of use all three. I'll like look at the tab first as just a general reference, but most of the time I'm like doing it by ear, you know? And if I can't really figure it out by ear, Year, then I'll go to the live version of it. Sometimes I'll look up chords just to like see what key it's in. So yeah, it's kind of a combination of all of it, but recently I've been doing a lot of things by ear. And it's taken me a while to get to there because I never really had a good ear. I would always have to rely on tabs or somebody telling me what it was. I've kind of stayed away from tabs recently because I realized they're not super helpful anymore. I actually find that songster.com tends to be the most accurate because the guitartabs.com or whatever, there's just a lot of like excess tabs that end up being wrong. So I find that Songster is super helpful. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, someone asked, how are you? I'm good, I guess. Yeah, I'm very happy today because it's really warm out. So I'm feeling really good now. The past couple of weeks have been a little stressful. I got a nail in my tire <laughs> uh, this past week and that just, it was a whole ordeal. And so it's been, it was, like a rough week for me just dealing with that. But I'm doing really good now and having a good day today. So yeah, thanks for asking. Someone asked, who is your favorite singer? I think my favorite singer of all time is Lady Gaga. <laughs> yep, there's just nobody that comes close to her. And I know that's like, people are like, ooh, Lady Gaga. But like, no. When you listen to her talk about her music, it just blows you away. You know, like she's just not some random pop singer you know she there's so much depth to her she does jazz she does pop she can do rock her metallica grammys performance was just so good i got into her music through her joanne album and once that album came out it just really spoke to me and actually equate that album and um her song a million reasons for the reason why i'm still doing guitar and music today because that album came out when i kind of had to make a decision of whether or not i wanted to go to college for music or something else and i was in a rough spot with music at that point in my life when million reasons came out and the joanne album came out i was like yes like i need to keep doing music i need to keep writing music because this this just speaks to me so much. Lady Gaga, favorite singer, favorite artist, and was one of the reasons why I'm still doing music today. Do you ever want to buy a Gibson Les Paul? Oh, uh, sure. I mean, they're expensive. <laughs> so um, I've played them before and they're really cool. They're awesome, they sound great. I think, you know, right now, I am a very big PRS fan. So I really do like their guitars a lot. So if I do have extra money and I'm, in the market to buy a guitar, I would probably buy a PRS guitar first, but for sure down the road, I, I would definitely buy a Gibson Les Paul. I feel like, you know, every guitar player who is serious, you know, should explore guitars and have a good arsenal of guitars. So yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know when that will be. I don't think it'll be anytime soon, but we'll see. How did you learn to play guitar? I took lessons for most of my life. I took lessons locally where I lived. I had an amazing teacher. Honestly, I owe most of what I know to him because he was an amazing teacher, but I took lessons from him for years and years and I've taken lessons from some other people, um, some other guitar players who play for artists like in the industry. I would take some uh, online lessons with them and then, yeah, I, honestly, I've, I've done that until I got to college. So I took private lessons until I got to college. And then I still took private lessons in college, but with my college professor. But that was all classical guitar. I've always had a teacher to kind of guide me up until I graduated college. And a lot of stuff that I have learned on guitar, I just, you know, taught myself to. But I've always kind of had a teacher to to guide me. What inspires you? That's a deep question. <laughs> what inspires me? Honestly, the love of music and the, the desire to make music for people. I love performing and the feeling of just performing 
for others is just such it's the best feeling in the world i don't think any like i've experienced anything better than like performing for people i just love it so much the combination of you know loving music and also making others happy through music is that's what inspires me and in desiring to you know make an impact in the music world and for the world you know so yeah that that's kind of what inspires me just that desire to create music for all you guys when did you start playing and who is your favorite guitar player slash inspiration so i started playing guitar when i was 12 and i'm 22 now so i've been playing guitar for about 10 years my favorite guitar player at least when i started playing guitar um was actually the guitarist of skillet his name is seth morrison and zach myers of shinedown was a big inspiration for me the modern like rock guitar players were big inspirations for me because i was really into that kind of music when i was like 12. <laughs> so and then i started moving into other genres like actually i was super influenced by pop guitar players a little later in life because they could just do everything you know and they were just so versatile and that's something i've always wanted to be as a guitar player was a super versatile guitar player i never wanted to be stuck in kind of one box of like this is my genre you know i kind of want to do all of it i want to do rock i want to do pop i want to do alternative i want to do jazz I want to do classical like I want to do all those things I'm actually very influenced by a lot of singers actually I don't know why somebody asked can we meet <laughs> maybe one day we'll see hopefully you know I can meet some of you guys in the future we'll see oh here's a good one <laughs> favorite coffee flavor I actually don't know this <laughs> I really don't know <laughs> I like get whatever just sounds interesting I don't know I'm always looking for something new I don't know if I found my favorite one yet. There's some good ones out there that are weird and different. Like I had this like caramel pink peppercorn latte recently in downtown Nashville. That was really good. Yeah, I really don't know. What is your favorite thing to do that isn't music related? I don't know. Uh, probably. <laughs> I think I, I said this before. Probably kind of going around to different coffee shops and visiting new places. I love traveling. I don't get to do it a whole lot, but I love to just like go to a coffee shop and hang out with a friend or something, you know? It's always very relaxing to me. We'll go with that. I'm a pretty boring person. Wow, these were all really good questions. So thank you guys for asking me these questions. Hopefully I answered them well, and hopefully you learned something new about me. But I would love to hear from you guys. Tell me about yourselves, where you're from. If you guys play guitar, you know, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to connect with you guys. Thank you guys for watching this vlog, if you made it this far. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever time of day it is where you live. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Ooh, Lady Gaga.